best. How do you know that the integral test is a, um, a potential one you could use on this one? It's positive and it's decreasing. That's super important, okay? So what are you trying to do? You're trying to do this integral, right? The limit as b goes to infinity. And so I think I heard one group talking about it. Like, does it matter if it's zero or one? Does it matter? No. Oh, you can't see it. You actually need to actually see what's going on. No, <laughs> it's not going to matter. But it's a, is it a good thing to pay attention to? Yeah. yeah, because for example, I might give you a quiz question where it's like, write the first six terms. And if it starts at zero, you have to plug in zero. That's it. But generally speaking, whether or not something converges or diverges, generally it's not influenced too heavily by if it starts at zero or one. It's just a different index. Theoretically, could I teach you all the same math but start with the number five instead? Sure, just be annoying, right? Okay, so for this one, what I highly recommend you do, oh, and let's just make it, because we like to write x's. Do all the easy stuff first, like take out easy stuff. So like, what's one easy thing we could do to make this? Yeah. Yeah, I like good harmony. It seemed like you guys were going to the same place. So yeah, it's three times the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from zero to b of one over x squared plus four dx. So this is where you need to recognize something. The thing you need to recognize is this. It kind of looks like something. It, what does it kind of look like? R10. Does not look like R10. It looks like the... the yes, it looks like the derivative of R10, right? Looks like That's key. That looks like the derivative, but it's not quite that, right? So let's actually do it out. Let's do the whole process. And the answer key, did anybody look at the answer? I gave you the answer key to this, yeah, right? Jump right to yeah, what does it say? And it says, like, use the table, right? Let's just do it out. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. So what method do we need to use? W substitution. Hey, that's nice. Hey. What do we want W to equal? What do we want it to equal? No. Nope. If we, if we don't want it to be x squared plus 4. If we make it x squared plus 4, what happens? You get stuck. Right? There's nothing to cancel out the derivative of it. We want to make it look like, what's the thing that doesn't make it look like the derivative of R10? The plus 4. We want that plus 4 to be a what? 1. We'd like it to be a 1. So we'd like to be able to factor out a 4. We're having trouble doing that because of that x squared. Oh, so let's let w equal what? First factoring to help you see it. Let's factor out a 4. Could we factor a 4 from the denominator if we really wanted to? Yes, factor anything you want. One over, what's it going to be on the bottom if I factor out a four from the denominator? It's going to be x squared over four plus what? Plus one, right? Do you, do you see everybody? You good with that? So let's do all this. And the, here's the thing. I love writing out all of this. It takes an extra two seconds, and it allows you to not make really, really, really poor choices about small algebraic mistakes. Oh, that's nice. So we haven't actually done any substitution here, correct? I would love us to do some substitution right now so we can make it look exactly like the derivative of arctan. What do we want w to be? There you go. There you go. That's what I kind of wanted, but it's okay. It's fine. So what do we have now? We have 3 fourths limit as b goes to infinity. Um, and then what do we have? The integral from 0 to b of what? 1 over? D oh, yeah, I don't need the parentheses anymore, do I? w what? Plus 1 and times what? This is where you have to be very careful. Can you just keep dx in there? No, we're not into multivariable land. You need one variable in your integral. b is a constant, effectively. So in this case, what does this mean? It means that 2w is equal to x. So 2dw is equal to what? dx. So instead of dx, what do I write? 2dw. Does everybody see that right there? That's super important. You need to actually change that differential. Now, what do we know? What do we know? What is this integral right here? What is the integral of that? R tan. So first, what can we do here? Let's just make sure we don't lose things. There's this 2 here, correct? So yeah, so it's going to be, uh, I'm going to get off of the highlighter there. So it's going to be 3 over 2 the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral of 0 to b of 1 over w squared plus 1 dw. Oh, that's nice. So what is that going to be? 3 over 2, the limit as b goes to infinity. What's the integral of 1 over w squared plus 1? Yeah, tan inverse of? 
W, and we're going from what? Zero to B. Is everybody with me so far? So now you have three over two times the limit as B goes to infinity of what? Tan inverse of B minus tan inverse of what? What is tan inverse of zero? That is zero. What is that graph? I graphed it for you up there. Tan inverse of zero. You need to know what tan inverse looks like. You have to. That's a vowel in this class. You need to know what graph of tan inverse looks like. So what is this? What is this limit? As b goes to infinity, what does that go to? What does it go to? Pi over 2. It goes to pi over 2. This horizontal asymptote is pi over 2 right there. So what does this thing become? 3 over 2 times pi over 2. So what is it? 3 pi over 4. How do those two quantities compare? Yeah. Yeah, you know that because by adding 4, you've made it smaller, right? So it's less than or equal to, right? But what do you know this does right here? This is 3 times the summation of, uh, oh, I can almost do the symbol. 3 times the summation of 1 over n squared, and you know that this what? Converges. Because why? Why, does the, why do you know that converges? It's a p series. And p is greater than 1. That's what, one over n to the p. That converges if p is greater than one. So yeah, that's another way to do it. Absolutely, you just gave it a ceiling that converges. Absolutely, that's a great way to. Do what it. you guys were doing here, you guys were writing it out. You have the limit here, so I'm going to write it again. So it's the limit as a goes to zero from the right of the integral from a to one of the square uh, of x to the what power? Well, x to the negative one half dx, right? So now if you actually do the integral of it, you have the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of what? 2x to the 1 half from a to 1. So write out the full form here. Limit as a goes to 0 from the right. You can factor the 2 out, right? OK, you agree because you didn't say anything. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. It's fine. So we have 1 to the? one half, correct? Yep. Minus what? A to the one half? Is that correct? Correct. To what? One. This is just goes to one. What does this go to? As A is going to zero from the right, what does that go to? What does it go to? As A goes to zero from the right, the square root of zero is what? Zero. Zero. So what does this equal? times 2 is 2. two. So does it diverge or converge? So what's the problem? Who did the red work right there? Who's in a red marker? Harrison, you know that the sum, this sum that you're working with, of 1 over n cubed plus 1, that's going to be less than or equal to what? The sum of what? 1 over n cubed. 1 over n cubed. You take away the 1. If you take away the one, it makes the denominator smaller, so it makes the whole thing bigger. You have made it what? Bigger. But what do you know about this? Converges. It converges since P series and P is greater than one. Done, all done. It came from this, right? You had this, and what was it over? One over N, do you agree? Yes. Okay. Pick a, give me a letter that you like, any letter. U. U. Uh, no, not you. I don't want to use U's and N's. Uh, 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 J, okay? I'm going to let J equal 1 over N, okay? I'm just going to rewrite this, okay? If J is equal to 1 over N, what does this turn into? I'm going to write the limit here, and then what goes there? It's going to be sine of what? J. J over what? J. J. But what does the limit become right here? If N, if N is going to infinity, what is this going to? Zero, right. J is going to zero. Now this is something you might have seen before. Has anybody seen this before? Yeah. This is something where you just get to say, I know what it is, okay? You don't have to prove this every time. Does anybody know what this goes to? This goes to one. This goes to one. Is that greater than zero? Yes. Harmonic series diverges, so therefore this diverges. Everybody with me so far? Mm.